Hello, Joe Carswell here with another training tip. This one, I wanted to take a couple minutes and go through something that we have used in the past and that we still use for training, and that's these mock-ups. These are framing mock-ups, and if you're in a classroom, you can't bring the building to the students. You can only bring part of it, and these mock-ups are a small part of framing, in particular where two walls come together. They can help you explain to students how to make framing connections. These are corner connections here and here. I love this one because it's the old school way, the XOX with the blocking and the full studs. Once you explain it to students that you have plates and studs, they tend to get it. These are two walls that come together in a corner. And now you can talk about uh, nailing surfaces and how drywall needs to fasten here. It makes a lot more sense when the students have something tangible that they can see and touch. And then you'd move on to your California or energy efficient corner and show how you have a, uh, an advantage uh, in this one that you don't have in this one. So we even have a T connection here. This is a version of how to make a T wall connection with a two by six nailer. We can start with textbooks, but we need something that gets us to this. And I think students really start to understand studs, plates, uh, space to insulate. All of this makes a lot more sense in these examples. They can be used over and over again, take only a few minutes to build. Hope that makes sense. Not a lot of effort for a huge impact for students. Also, we have another resource. That's a video on scaled lumber and how we used it to teach uh, larger framing concepts. Check that one out. That one is just as powerful for your students. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.